Thank you, General Ryder. Um, you gave us an update on Austin's condition. He's in good condition, but can you tell us the prostate cancer that was discovered, what stage it is, how serious is this? And then secondly, when um, Deputy Secretary Hicks took over some responsibilities uh, while he was hospitalized, can you give us a sense of what those responsibilities were? Did she have nuclear command and control? Was it something more mundane? Um, and now, what kind of role is she assuming? Because obviously she was doing the, the honor guard. What else is she taking on right now? Yeah, sure. Um, in terms of the, the secretary's uh, health and the, and the condition, I'm not going to have any more to provide beyond the statement that we issued earlier from his doctors. Certainly, uh, we'll continue to keep you updated going forward. Uh, I did speak to his doctors today, uh, and again, they assured me he's in good condition, good spirits, and, and recovering well. Um, as it relates to the deputy secretary, um, again, for operation security reasons, I'm not going to go into the specifics other than to say certain operational authorities that require secure communications. In other words, at any time, should the Department of Defense be required to make important key strategic defense decisions, there is always someone on the other end of the phone who can make those decisions at the appropriate level. And so this is an important point that during this situation at no time was there a gap in command and control for the Department of Defense at all times. Uh, national security was in good hands and either the secretary or the defense uh, deputy defense secretary were at the helm thanks and then now what sort of duties is she assuming as she's doing the duties of the deputy secretary of defense and again uh, the the secretary and the deputy often share duties uh, both ceremonial uh, operational uh, as you know the deputy secretary traveled out to Colorado to preside over the US space comm change of command and so we'll continue to keep forward uh, as she conducts duties on behalf of the secretary, but that in and of itself is not unusual for her to represent the department in a senior capacity in a variety of different uh, events and engagements.